Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. This is Tyler. This is going to be a video about choose your battles wisely people. And the reason why I say that is because there are some battles that are not meant for you to fight. And it was not meant for you at all. And it was meant for the creator of the universe to fight that battle for you in the regards of the situation that may be with dealing with family, friends, or it could be at work, or it could be a so-called husband, wife, boyfriend, or girlfriend. The situation has gotten so bad, so much so to the point of that. Every time that you turn around, it seems like it's one thing after another, which is some unnecessary mess, some unnecessary conflict, some unnecessary strife, and then some unnecessary arguments that didn't even have to be started in the first place. And then there is some unnecessary provoking in order to get an anger reaction up out of you so that those folks or that one person could use it against you towards the other people. And I just want to tell all of you that for most of you, you have probably been fighting in that situation. And it has gotten you to the point of that. It has drained you mentally, physically, and emotionally. And then, so, it has gotten so intense to where you said within yourself that, I am fed up with this mess. I am not fighting no more. And you know the reason why that has it has gotten into that point? It's simply because the creator of the universe was trying to give you signs that that battle was not meant for you to fight. And it was the creator of the universe to fight that battle for you. And all that you were supposed to do is to move out the way so that the creator of the universe can do what it's going to do regarding that situation. But some of you, you have got to learn how to move out the way when the creator of the universe is giving you signs that this battle is not your fight and it's not meant for you at all. And when you start doing that, then the better. And also people, I want to add on to this. There are some battles that are meant for you in the regards to for changing for the good. And that could be in the regards of finances. That could be in the regards of health. That could be uh, in the regards of your improving your physique. That could be in the regards of improving a skill and getting better at it or maybe more skills than that. Or your mental health. But overall, you are fighting those battles so that change can come for the good. 
but it's for your sake. And you know that it is the best for you. But you already know that you have to fight and, and focus and do the work what it takes to get there. And you know that it might take a minute or it might take a while, but still and only still, you are focused on the change for the good that is going to be the best for your sake. Now, I want a lot of you to listen to me very closely. There are a lot of you out there that has been called to a certain battle. And it is meant for you to fight in the regards to bring a major change for the sake of humanity. And a lot of you are asking, what do I mean by this? Let me give you some examples. Some people might disagree with it. That's fine by me. The first one. You have a lot of flat earthers who have been called to tell and to educate people that this earth is not how we have been told in past times. And they are sounding the alarm that everything of what we have been told is not even true about the earth. Overall, the earth is not a globe. And then not only that, the flat earthers are battling against the globe earthers. But still and only still, they are sounding the alarm. Telling people that the earth is not what we have been told and it's not a globe, and they have been called to that battle in order to wake people up. The next one, and this could be some people who have been called to wake people up in the regards of health and foods and they are getting people to understand the game on what is being played towards them by big pharma and GMO foods and the pharmacies and so they are getting people to understand the game on what is being played towards them. They are sounding the alarm loud that Big Pharma and GMO Foods are not for you and it's destroying you mentally and physically. So, however, the overall thing that these people who have been called in the regards to wake people up concerning what real medicine is and herbs and, and food are fighting against big pharma and the GMO foods that they produce out here, which is not real food at all. But the whole point is they have been called to this battle and to this fight. 
And they know that they have. And next, there are some people out here, a majority of people out here who have been called to wake people up and to educate them in the regards of money and finances to to educate themselves or to get people to educate themselves concerning money and to understand the game of what corporate America is playing towards them and the and the tax system and so overall they are fighting against corporate America and the tax system. And just as well as the people who got the mentality of you ain't got the right to have a good bit about amount of money. But overall, these same people are trying to wake these people up how to manage money and to understand the game right and to budget their money correctly. And so they have been sounding the alarm loud and clear. And so they have been called to this battle. Now, I want to tell all of you this. For those who have been subscribed to me for quite some time, you should already be familiar with me telling you that there are going to be more videos of me exposing the doctrine of forgiveness that is in the religion of Christianity. And the reason why I say that is because I've been continually over and over again saying this was coming. And I don't even know why this is a surprise by most of my subscribers and that's people that's been watching me for quite some time. And so to all the people that are subscribers that have a problem with me constantly exposing the doctrine of forgiveness that is in the religion of Christianity. You might as well get used to it because I'm like Deion Sanders. I'm flat out coming to expose more of this doctrine. And you know the reason why is simply because this is my calling. And this is my fight to make war against the doctrine of forgiveness that is in the religion of Christianity. So, you might as well go on ahead and buckle up. Because it's meant to be a lot of you extremely mad and upset at me. When more that is meant to come out. And just as long as I get more people to realize that this doctrine is nothing but a fraud so that they can go back and look behind what I said and do their research, then I have done my job. But it's way much better that if there are more people that come out on YouTube to expose the doctrine of forgiveness that is in the religion of Christianity, that will be great. But I'm going to tell you that who is on here exposing the doctrine of forgiveness in the religion of Christianity more than I have? I ain't seen nobody yet. Nobody. And I'm trying to get a lot of you to understand the game on what is being played towards you. 
and that you are getting gained in this fraudulent doctrine. And, I, and I'm going to still stand by this. The doctrine of forgiveness in the religion of Christianity is the greatest scam that I have came across in any type of research that I have done. But do you think that I expect for this to be an easy cakewalk? No. And the reason why is because of this doctrine has been so beaten inside of the heads of the masses to where there is a sudden brainwashing that this is just the norm today. But you know where my greatest fight is coming from? And you and you know what that is? The black community. I'm not trying to say that it it's all black folks, but it is a few black people that realize that there is something wrong with this doctrine of forgiveness that is in the religion of Christianity. But I'm talking about the black community in general. Every time I turn around when I do a video on this. It's always somebody black always attacking me in the comment section concerning this doctrine of forgiveness that is in the religion of Christianity. And you know the reason why? It's simply because this doctrine has heavenly indoctrinated the black community and has been used as a weapon against the black community for a long ass time and they is too damn blind to see it. Too damn blind. And they can't even see this is the greatest scam that is right before their eyes. And, and they is too lazy to go do any type of critical thinking and to, and to go see in the Bible that the doctrine of forgiveness in the religion of Christianity is not biblical forgiveness. And that's what I'm trying to get a lot of you Black people to understand that. What is true forgiveness? Not that scamming doctrine of forgiveness that is in the religion of Christianity. And I say this for anybody else. If you don't understand the game on what's being played. This doctrine is going to continue to scam you. But the problem is, whenever that it comes to the black community, they do not want to let this doctrine go. It's like a huge grip on our mind, on their minds. A huge grip. But it's all because of heavy indoctrination. But I'm going to go on ahead and cut this video short because I know I done pissed a lot of people off. All of you have a great and wonderful day and evening.